Hello everyone. This is Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 12, Music and the Natural Worlds, Video 6, and I'm calling it The Law of Persistence. I'm going to start with a little story that I'm sure most of you experienced in one way or another. A couple of nights ago, I was with my wife, Dr. V, and she said, hey, look, look down. And there was this plant coming right up through the tarred road we were walking on. Okay, nothing was going to stop that plant from growing. And this is an aspect of life, right? You can think about it as, as a part of the survival mechanism. That we all have, that all life has. That once something is alive, it wants to continue with that process. It'll keep trying. And I'm sure you've seen, you know, like a blade of grass coming through a sidewalk. I mean, that's a strong blade of grass, okay? This was an amazing, this plant coming right up through it. And so the appreciation of persistence starts to get very real when you start looking at these things in a real living way. All of life has its cycles, right? We're born. We live, we pass, and all of the various different cycles on top of that, that everyone goes through. And every living thing goes through, goes through. Just think of the different stages when a mother's pregnant with a baby, no matter if it's a human, a donkey, a kangaroo, or an insect. Before it's born, it's going through all this developmental processes. The journey has started as soon as those two little things meet, right? And it starts, you know, cell division. And it's ordering everything and everything is going to have its place. And all these different things go on from a embryo, zygote, fetus, until the point you say, oh, this is a baby. <laughs> you might say, obviously, life has started since that moment at the physical level that it came together. So it's pretty extraordinary. So I'm just looking at right now the process is in motion from the beginning. And it'll keep going. It'll keep going. Even if obstacles get in its way, like this plant coming through the road, it'll keep going. Now I bring this up. A great mentor of mine said to me, persistence is the law closest to the heart of Mother Nature. And it can be seen. We were walking in a field and we were pretty disappointed because we were in this field and it was incredible a couple days before, a week before. Yeah, a week before. And then we came back and I guess the city felt they needed to mow, but they also needed to like spray some plants. 
okay, and also kind of move it around in a real ragged, uncaring way. And it was just, you know, went right through all this incredible plants that were growing there, okay? From ground ivy to nettles to Japanese knotweed, okay? And just kind of made it, just got rid of it like that. Then, a few days later, we see that it's starting to come back right away. And this must have been a pretty rough vehicle, okay? But huge tire marks and all this stuff, and who knows what was on it. And, and, and spraying this poison on it. Not good for other animals either, all right? Here, these plants are starting to come back. No. One of the values of building a relationship with nature is the inspiration that it can give. To see that there's rhythm and cycles, okay? Doesn't music have rhythm and cycles, right? It begins, it develops, <laughs> and we even call it the development. And then it does this, and we put names on all the different processes that happen within the chordal structures and sequences. But something wants to develop and come alive and come out. And then the instrumentalist gets this piece of music and it's in code form and as a great mentor, the same great mentor said to me, you know what? The written word is crude. Well, the written note is crude. It's not going to tell you. It's going to tell you some things, okay? But it's not going to tell you everything. It will not tell you everything. And so when you're out looking in nature and seeing all these different kinds of plants, these different varieties of trees, berries, maybe many different kinds of herbs, you don't even know that they're herbs. Maybe you can recognize poison ivy, it's not always that easy, okay? There's variations there with it. And you see all these different lives kind of living in an environment, going through their life cycles. Some are being born, some are, you know, starting to produce some fruit, and then there's some of the trees that are dead, okay, that are housing all sorts of little critters and birds and offering their, offering their, what's remaining of them as food too. So all these things are happening. And it's been happening for millenniums and millenniums and millenniums. What's the purpose of this continuing cycles of things? What's the purpose? What is that great something that wants life to keep continuing. In a hundred years, this is not a morbid thing, okay? In a hundred years, probably all of us, right? We're not gonna be here, at least not in this present body, all right? <laughs> not. And so, what do you do with that? That's a part of natural life. But human beings, um, if they behave themselves, will still be around. They have been for thousands of years. Like many animals, look at these insects that have been around for maybe millions going through their certain adaptive aspects, 
And the, being able to adapt is related to persistence, isn't it? So the important thing is, how can we relate that to our life? And look at the times that we're in. Right now. Very complicated subject. The point is, it's a difficult one, no matter what you think about it. And I know people have been through various interesting up and down cycles. Maybe other cycles than they're used to having because they have to adapt to another condition. Well, how can we still nourish ourselves? Many people have had certain sources of their nourishment taken away. Like a job, right? So many businesses collapsing. Some people are having problems with their health. Some people are falling ill. Um, and some people are really feeling the lack of nourishment from having a social interaction with living people in front of them without a mask on. Right? I'm not trying to say any political view right now. Don't get me wrong, please. I'm just trying to say what is actually going on. Musicians, we play together. So that could be wearing on people. And I think people have been doing a certain job adapting, right? Doing overdubbing and all this kind of thing. I think that great. That's great. It's bringing people together. It's just some real interesting projects that I've seen. And it's all about needing to change in order to continue to exist, which is part of persistence, obviously and the instinct to adapt. So if we're looking at the overlay system, for people who've heard me talk about it before, we need to do something for the body to keep it healthy and nourishing, even if this is not an ideal circumstance. Okay? We need to make sure we're eating well. You've heard all these things. And what are you doing to nourish your mind in the midst of this? And your emotions to keep them so this doesn't start caving in. What are you going to be anchored to some kind of purpose? Like nature always is. And we're a part of nature. The human being has its own very, very special role here. I believe to be custodian. To uphold those laws that are not human made. And that's easy to see. Like the law of persistence. Now the human can actually grab on to that law and really anchor themselves in that feeling of a purpose that will keep them moving with the natural cycles, not just physical, of the human enigma and appearance. And being and making these connections with nature I think can help feed that for our contemplations, for meditative processes, to sit and journal about, to write poetry about, to pick up your horn or instrument, violin or piano or voice, whatever you happen to play or drop, whatever it is, to keep it going and keep something moving in you. The first letter in the word music is an M.
And one of the meanings for that, for me, is movement. One of the core foundational aspects of existence is rhythm. And rhythm is movement. If there was one thing and it wanted to divide and express itself as an incredible multiplicity, well, there's rhythm. Right? Because every sound, every vibration, in its essence, is rhythm. But something caused that rhythm to be. There was a purpose. So this is an encouragement to find your purpose. And when you're having up, down days and all that stuff, let yourself get into the simple things. Or let your mind go and, and look at the intricacies of life and see, where's my life raft that I can ride those waves with? And as a great mentor of mine said to me, if you can't find it, make it. Make your life raft. Try that great urge to try. If you can't do your same warm-up every single day, don't. Try a variation in still in a register that feels good for you. Play in some different keys that maybe are difficult, but do them slowly so they won't be so difficult. So many different ways. Give yourself little challenges. Okay? And persistence is the law closest to the heart of Mother Nature that's imbued and a part of each living life's natural circuitry. Turn it on.